So here we go, out to the ferry on the Songdao. It's going a bit faster my likings on a pier. The little purple ferry. Be an interesting ride. I think we're going to have the island to ourselves, which is going to be very good. Okay, uh, I've got to uh, negotiate my way. It's very steep and I'm carrying three bags. I'll make it. It's okay. Away we go. Fairly windy. I won't uh, video too much from the bow because uh, it'll just uh, stuff up the sound. Shitloads. So we're on our way to Kosamet for our little two-day stir-crazy getaway. Not sure what that little island is right out there. We might get a boat from Kosamet out to there and have a look at that. We'll see. Uh, a bit of a reef out there too. I guess we have to negotiate. Oh, there's Channel Boys there. Fairly big channel. So yeah, away we go. There's Am. Happy. <laughs> it took us uh, under four hours from Cha'am to Bang Sen. We stayed at Bang Sen last night at Am's daughter's place. And it took us uh, about an hour and uh, 20 minutes to get to here from Bang Sen. Said two hours. 30 or something like that on Google Maps, but of course, you know, that's traveling at 60 or 80k. We travel uh, approximately between 100 and 120k the whole way. Extremely good road from Pattaya to here. Extremely good. So, arriving at the pier. We've got a uh, military guard of honour. Hook us up, man. Hook us up. There you go. So, arriving at the pier. The port. Because I met port. So here we are. We'll be getting off the boat and going up and uh, pretty sure it's like uh, 200 baht for me and 100 baht for AM which is a fee for entering the National Park helps with the uh, upkeep of the National Park keeping the place clean taking rubbish away etc etc Cup on They're there collecting money for entry into the National Park and they can't change a thousand parts. I've got to go out here to 7-Eleven and buy something and uh, get changed. 
absolutely ridiculous. That's one of the most stupid things I've ever come across since I've been here. So it looks like we've arrived at the resort. Interesting. Okay, so get the bags off. give in the check-in it, it's uh, 10 30 they're telling us two o'clock check-in so she's gonna try and see if she can get us in at uh, 12 o'clock so that's not very helpful it's not like they're you know loaded with guests or anything like that so if she uh, helps us out and allows us to get in at 12 o'clock that'll be good so we're just going for a walk up the beach to get something to eat. Apparently there's somewhere up here we can get food. Really nice white powdery sand. It's a nice looking place too. Very nice little place. Very nice here. Got a nice sea breeze anyway, so. That's, well, it's sort of a cross breeze. Looks offshore when you look out at the ocean. Beautiful white sandy beach, be very nice here at high tide. I don't think they're rocks down there at the low tide. I think they're uh, crab mounds. Whee! It'll be nice to get in the room and have a shower after all that traveling. But anyway, we've got to look for something to eat. She pointed us in this direction down here. Where did she say, honey? Oh yeah, mm, good climber. Nice little resort in there. Very nice. So day one on the bay, heading up to get some breakfast, brunch, cold drink, uh, sit around, fight us around for a while before we can check in. It's, you know, it annoys me this uh, two o'clock check-in zone. It's not like you're taking any money off them or anything like that. They're not full of guests. That'd be nice and helpful if they let you in a little bit early. So you had a little bit more leisure time on the island. That annoys me. They all do it. Although I have had some hotels that have been really nice and let me check in right there and then. Especially when they don't have guests. So right here in the shade. And we're going to get something to eat. So what cab? Price is not too bad at the restaurant considering when on an island and everything has to be shipped in. So and quite an array of items. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna have yet. Pretty sure I'll have some fried rice with uh, vegetables and some barbecue chicken. Getting a pineapple smoothie. Not sure how much that is. Oh, let's have a look here. Mm. 
pineapple shake, 80 baht. So just under two bucks. And there it is, ice cold. First meal on the island, simple fried rice. Some fried chicken coming. Of course, some damn rice noodles. M's favorite. And there's the uh, fried chicken. Looks okay. Not too expensive. As you know, I don't like filming people eating, so I'm not going to film myself or am eating. Uh, I'll put the prices and everything up later on in the info on the video or the videos. By the time we're finished, I'll have two or three videos to edit when we get back to charm. Ciao for now. Ah, the whinging is starting to dissipate already. Just had a really lovely lunch here on the brunch, brunch on the beach here. And uh, looking at the view, we'll walk back up to our hotel room soon and see if we can get into the hotel room, get changed, have a swim in the pool or a swim in the ocean. And sitting there enjoying her sometam. Lovely little restaurant. They're so busy. Look, they're all flustered. It's just so busy here. It's a beautiful place. It's a lovely beach. It's quiet. There's no people. Zero tourists. Zero to us. Phenomenal. I love it. Really glad we came here. Really glad we came here. So, Casa Met. It's the, uh, as I said before, the stir crazy getaway. Really. I think I'm going to enjoy a couple of days here. Rent a motorbike later on. After we have a swim and a bit of a relaxation, we'll go for a walk and, uh, or ride on bike and uh, go over to the west side of the island and maybe have a beer while we're watching the sunset. Might go to Chad from CB Media's favorite little sunset spot that uh, I saw the other day just before he left. Yeah, so. No, Chad, I won't tell anyone about it or where it is. <laughs> yeah, so look at that sky. It's just beautiful, man. Yeah. I can't tell you. It's incredibly pleasing. Incredibly pleasing. A great getaway. Costa Met, recommend it. But I don't think it'll ever be the same again as it is now due to the situation okay so we're going to the room now the bungalow which i thought was right on the beach but it's not so it's a sea view villa so i'm assuming we have a view but it still looks quite nice up here not too far from the dining room or the beach i just hope it's not right up the back in the jungle somewhere They've put us so far away. They've got no gas and they've put us right up the back somewhere. <clears throat> that will go into my um, booking.com review. Oh no, we've got this one here. Not too bad. Room review, bungalow review. Not a bad spot. Uh, sea view, well, only just more like uh, electric wire views but a nice little veranda and a place to sit out the front here have a beer in the evening or whatever not too bad close drying rack nice little veranda so of course aircon aircon up there let's have a look at the bathroom first bathroom quite pretty really 
good sized shower. Obviously the vent hasn't been cleaned on the exhaust fan for a very long time. The roof leaks. They haven't cleaned the light fittings for a long time either. Uh, so overall maintenance not 100%. I don't know what the water pressure is like in the shower yet, but you know the bathroom looks fairly clean. It's not huge, but you know it's okay. Okay, so looking at the room, some storage space there. It's only a double bed. It's not a queen size, so a double bed. Uh, window view where you can sort of see the ocean through the trees and the electrical wiring not the prettiest vision but for the price not too bad anyway so a small fridge down here tea and coffee making facilities couple of bottles of water in that little recess so all in all not too bad a small tv a smallish TV screen, some views of the other little villas there, so yeah, not too bad, I'm happy with it, for the price, I'll put the pricing and everything uh, later on in the information under the video, it, it's not a huge room, uh, if the two columns weren't there, you could quite possibly swing a cat in here, so there you go, no artwork to speak of on the walls or anything, pretty plain, all white, yeah, it's quite cute, it's pleasant, it'll do us for a couple of days relaxing. <laughs>